In lessons 13 and 14, you learned how to write division expressions. So I'm going to go over a couple that we did in class today, and hopefully this will help you. I'm going to go over number 1, I'm going to go over number 6, and I'm going to go over number 8. Okay, they wanted you to write each expression two ways, using the division symbol and as a fraction. Okay, so the first one, 12 divided by 4. This is 12 divided by 4 with the division symbol. Or you can write it as a fraction. 12 divided by 4. Okay, 6. Y divided by the quantity X minus 11. Okay, I underline the words and sometimes I put the um, symbols right under them so I can kind of walk myself through it. This is Y divided by the quantity, which means parentheses, x minus 11. You can write this without the division symbol by making y your numerator of your fraction and dividing it by x minus 11. The next last one, the quotient, which is the answer to a division problem, of the quantity k minus 10 and m. So I'm going to take the quantity k minus 10, and I'm going to divide it by m. And that would make k minus 10 my numerator, and m my denominator. In addition to this, I would like to review um, some of the lessons we learned previously. Okay, write an expression for how you would calculate distance between the points negative 3, 4 and negative 3, negative 6. Okay, I hope by now that you're putting these points on top of each other. You are looking at which coordinate they have the same. They both have the um, x coordinate the same. Okay, and if you drew this as a rough draft, negative 3, 4 would be in quadrant 2. Negative 3, negative 6 is in quadrant 3. This is going to be a vertical line. The y's are changing. And because the signs are different, we are going to add their absolute values. So this would be the expression that would be used in order to solve for the distance. Negative 6 has an absolute value of 6. It's 6 units away from 0. 4 has an absolute value of 4. This, these two points are 10 units away from each other, but the question is not asking for distance, it's asking for the expression. Write an integer. This is an old but a very good word, positive or negative number, for the following situations. A debit of $50 means that you are taking $50 out of your checking account or your debit. So it's minus 50. 400 feet above sea level is plus or positive 400. Not plus, but positive 400. Last one we're going to go over today is um, evaluating. As your math coach, the very first thing I would like you to do is expand your expression by including a dot for multiplication. Now you can substitute in your value for b. And now you can follow your order of operations. I'm going to do my exponents first, since I don't have parentheses. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. I'm going to do my exponent again. I have two threes. Exponents mean repeated multiplication. Now my order says multiply or divide, whichever comes first from left to right. So I have 54 plus 3 times 9. I'm going to do 3 times 9 next because multiplication comes before addition, never changing the order of the problem. The sum of these two numbers is 81.
Last, I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to circle the terms that are the same or like, including the sign before. If I have 12, 15 BCs and I take away three of them, 15 minus 3 is going to give me 12 BCs, and I'm going to leave plus 5.